Hey guys, this is a very exciting day. Now, I flew in late last night uh, back from Pittsburgh. I'm in Los Angeles now. And the first thing we're gonna do before going to the Xbox showcase is we are gonna be getting breakfast tacos, we're gonna be getting coffee, and we are gonna be getting hyped for what we're about to see from Xbox. So, uh, let's, uh, let's start our day, shall we? Okay. I made it on time, we're checking in, and the show is gonna be starting in 45 minutes. Also, guys, look, rocking the Xbox shoes today. We're going in. All right, so made it inside. This is like a really cool little area where it's like before the show, you can hang out, have some breakfast, have some coffee, have some snacks. Um, it's always one of my favorite things coming here because it's like I've never come downtown. So seeing like all the buildings and being here is, uh, is pretty special because I don't ever come down here. I am inside. The show's gonna be starting in about 20 some minutes. I haven't really gotten to see any of my friends yet, um, but I know they're in here somewhere. Where are they? We have someone here. His name's Phil Spencer. Everyone, uh, first, just thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. That was Phil Spencer, three times, same brain podcast guest, three times on the stage. All right, starting in nine minutes. I'm excited. What do I think about heroes? Well. Welcome to the scum bar. Forza Motorsport and General Motors are pairing their strengths in technical excellence and sophisticated modern design to take bold steps into the future and introduce the official trailer for Phantom Liberty. Check it out. <laughs> All right, we just got out of the Xbox Games Showcase and to say I'm overwhelmed is an understatement because there were so many great announcements, so many great games. We'll go into it a little bit later. And actually something I also wasn't expecting was a Xbox Series S little upgrade. So they announced that there's gonna be a black, carbon black console with one terabyte storage coming out in September and wow, lots of good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go mingle a little bit and uh, we'll do another little recap about some games and then I don't know what's gonna happen, honestly, no idea. All right, so I'm back from the Xbox showcase. It was seriously such a fun event. I get to see so many of my friends. Um, I got to talk to Phil Spencer. I was gonna have him try to get in the vlog, but I caught him at like a very last minute moment where he was going to the elevator. But I was like, hey, big fan of everything that happened. Nice to see you, Phil. Congratulations to you and the team. And then I ran away because I got scared. Um, okay, so the showcase. I took some notes about the things that I was the most excited about. I feel like they started off really strong with Fable. Got me excited. I've never played Fable before, but this one definitely piqued my interest. And then we had the Star Wars Outlaws also looked really, really fun. Um, and then they were like, hey, you know what? We're gonna come out with another flight sim. And if you guys, know how excited I was before. I was streaming Microsoft Flight Sim a lot. <laughs> I mean, I have like the whole setup. I've got, you know, the throttle, I've got the, you know, all the gear to like make it very, very realistic. And somehow I was still terrible, but Flight Sim was so much fun that they came out with like all of these, you know, new Flight Sim um, like planes and um, activities and adventures. So super excited about that. Then they announced Sea of Thieves Monkey Island Sea of Thieves was a game that I feel like they talked about for so long and then it finally happened and it was so much fun. It's just like such a fun game that you can play with friends. So super excited about that. And if you guys do also remember, it came out around my sister's birthday. So we got her a Sea of Thieves cake and we had like a huge party with like a pirate band. There's a whole vlog of it. It's something that actually happened. And I feel like we need to relive that and make that happen again, because that was an incredible time. So excited about that. We also had the Fallout 76 Atlantic City. I've never fully completed a Fallout game, but I don't know why. It's just like, it's so much fun, but I that is definitely something I wanna make a priority and go back and like play, because it's such a fun game. Another thing, very excited about Forza Motorsports. They haven't had a game in like six years, I believe. And they announced their partnership or kind of like 
collab with Chevy. So we got to see the Corvette as well as the Cadillac. So we had saw like the E-Ray and they announced the cars and my sister got to be a part of that launch too, which was also really, really cool. Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty, also super excited about that. Uh, cities, Skylines 2 looked so fun. Basically it's like this game where you can just like build cities. I've never heard of it, um, but it looks like something that I would probably spend a lot of time doing. I feel like that would be a really fun game to stream. So definitely gonna be checking that out. And then after the game showcase, we had the Starfield Direct, which was basically an hour of going into Starfield. Bethesda absolutely crushed it. I haven't even played the game yet, but they have gotten everybody so hyped for this game. The only thing I kept thinking was, how am I gonna have time to play this game? This is gonna be a full-time job because there's so many things that you can do and the character customization that you can go into and like the details of not even just the characters, but like your ships and stuff like that. It's gonna be so much fun. So yeah, that's the showcase. Um, do we have enough for a vlog? I don't know, but you guys wanna see my new coffee table that I got? Forza Motorsports hasn't had a game in six years. Well, I haven't had a coffee table in four years. So let's talk about it, okay? Just really switching gears here. Also like Forza. Also, you know home improvements are happening when there's a tape measure. Anytime there's a tape measure, it's like, look out. I don't really sleep a lot, so I was awake one night at like 3 a.m. just like browsing Facebook and I got a Facebook ad that's like, hey, you might like this coffee table. And I was like, I do like it. But watch this. It can transform into different, different things. So it's like, we can do that. And then under here is where we have, obviously we have Xbox controllers. Also, I should probably put all of those other controllers under there, but you can like open it up and you can do all types of different um, like designs with it. So you can get crazy with the coffee table. That doesn't seem like a practical design, but it's something you can do if you wanted. So this is like a cool design. I think it's kind of my favorite because you can still have access to putting stuff in there. Crazy. I got this new storage bench from CB2. I'm putting all my blankies. I also got this fake plant, CB2, because guess what? All my real plants are dead. Anyway guys, thanks for hanging out with me in this vlog. Thanks for coming to the showcase with me. Um, I'm working on a ton more videos, so make sure you subscribe. Got some vlogs coming, got some tech videos coming. A lot of stuff coming, you guys. Um, yeah, I will see you again next time for a new video. Bye.